Hi, my name is Alex Carlucci with GustinShow.com. I'm going to talk to you about private mortgage insurance or PMI or LPMI. So when you're getting a loan and you're putting down less than 20% FHA or conventional, then you're going to have what's called PMI. The good thing about VA loans, they don't have PMI. And the good thing about non-QM loans, they don't have PMI. So when we're talking about conventional and FHA, they're going to come with PMI. So what is PMI and how do you calculate it? So in FHA, it's real simple. It doesn't matter your credit score, it's always the same. It's If you're doing three and a half percent down, it's going to be 0.85 times the loan amount, hit percent, divided by 12. You got that? That's your monthly PMIs. <laughs> so you take the loan amount, let's say it's 200, multiply it by 0.85, you're going to come up with a number of like 16, I don't know, and then you hit percent, divide it by 12, and then you get uh, your monthly PMI. Now. That's, that's charged you for the life of the loan on FHA. If you put 5% down, then it's only a 0.8 factor. So use 0.8. So FHA is 0.85 for 3.5% for down to 5% down and 0.8 for 5% down or more. And it stays with the life of the loan. Conventional PMI is a lot more complicated. They changed it in the last 10 years. It used to be pretty, pretty uh, based on the loan to value. And now they do credit score and loan to value combination. So the higher your credit score, the lower your PMI. It could be as low as a, a 0.2 factor and as high as like a 2.9 factor. So the higher score and the more money down closer to 20%, let's say it's 18% down and you got a 780 score, you're gonna get some of those 0.2 factors. Uh, if you got a 620, which is the lowest score you can have for conventional and um, you're putting down 3%, you're gonna get the high factor and your PMI is gonna be very expensive. So keep that in mind, the better your score, the better your PMI. And what the good thing about the conventional PMI is that the PMI will fall off after you mathematically pay your loan down to 70 percent so it takes about nine years to do that if you refinance and you can drop your PMI if you have equity so if you can refinance on a conventional loan let's say your house appreciates three hundred thousand dollars next year and you refinance you can just drop the PMI it doesn't fall off because the value went up you have to refinance out of it there's very few lenders if any anymore that you can just send them appraisal and they'll just drop it and keep your mortgage going so you pretty much have to refinance so now with FHA, if the price goes up three hundred thousand dollars and you refinance FHA, you're still going to have PMI. It's going to be a 0 0.8 factor probably instead of the 0.85, but you're still going to have PMI. It's going to last the life of the loan. Then there's a third one that's called lender paid mortgage insurance for conventional loans, and that's a higher rate with no MI. So it's built into the rate. So you don't have PMI, but you get a higher rate, and it's a great short-term PMI uh, way to get a cheaper payment with the PMI rule. So if you have less than 10, 20% down and you're going to get PMI, it could be cheaper to choose the higher rate without the PMI than to have the lower rate with the PMI. So you got to calculate that, talk to your loan officer about that. You can call me anytime. My name's Alex. Go to GustinShow.com. Just find me, Alex Carlucci, 630-915-7550. Thank you.